Hi, this is Miss Cindy, and today I am back to do a project that I think is going to work. Not too sure. I uh, haven't seen anybody do it, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, it, in my previous videos, um, you see I have an obsession with trying to get this acrylic pour to do blending and shading. Um, and also try to keep a picture. So, you know, when you use the flow tro, it goes where you want, you do the tilting, but I, and I'm not an artist. So I'm trying to get a picture in the middle that has my blending and my shading and still show what it is. So I did a video, a short video where I made a template of a butterfly because I, I don't draw. And I used a napkin pour. And it did not come out the way I wanted it to. Did it keep its shape the way I taped it on? Yes, it kept the shape, but I didn't get any blending. So then I did another quick video where I tried the blow dryer technique. And that blended really nice. So this video, I'm going to try to put the two together. I'm going to try to get a stencil of a picture in here and then I'm going to mix my colors and I'm going to do use the blow dryer technique because that gave it some really the, the colors blended. It gave it a little bit of shading. It gave a little bit of cells. So that's what this video is going to be about. And I thought about this for a long time and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to tape the whole canvas. And then I'm going to do my stencil. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and be very, very careful and cut the tape off. And then I should have just a plain canvas in the middle. I can go ahead and do my little uh, blow dryer pour and let it dry. And then when I take it off, I'm just going to have the white canvas, which I'll go ahead and paint. The whole purpose is trying to get a picture. That's, that's what it is for me. I've done so much acrylic pour where Floetro does what it wants to do. Whether I use the strainer or the cup, the dirty pour, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get an acrylic pour that has a picture. And since I can't draw, I can't make the flowers, I can't make all of the stuff that I see people making, I've got to come up with a way that I can get this done. So I will be back after I prepare my canvases. Oh, and there's two because I want to do one in one color and one in the other color. So I'm not going to do them at the same time. I do them separately, but I want two big pictures to hang on a wall. And I think it would be nice if they were a pair. So it could be two different colors, but I want a pair. I want a set. So I will be back after I prepare my canvases and see, I think this will work, but we shall see. Hey, I got plenty of paint. I got plenty of flow troll. I could do this all day long. I'll be back. Okay, so my canvas is taped. And I got my stencil in the canvas. The only issue that I see I'm going to have is um, some of the sides may come up which is okay. I got my little popsicle. I got the large popsicle sticks here. So when I'm using a blow dryer on that area, I'll just probably hold it down. Um, other than that, let's see how this is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and put my black base on first. And then I got uh, four different colors of blue, four different shades of blue. And to see if this works I only outlined one because I want to see if it worked first and if, if it does work then I outline the other so let me get my base on and then I'll come back when I'm putting the paint on and using the blow dryer okay so my base is on and I'm just gonna pour and hopefully I get in the middle of it since I can't see <laughs> uh, I don't even know I'm going to do this. Um, wow.
didn't take a lot of paint. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know. I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm trying to be cautious with this dark blue, even though I like this dark blue. Um, it's hard to see, but this should spread, so I think I'm going to stop right there. Let me get that. Let me just go ahead and start doing what I got to do. Okay. See if it works. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit and dry. I already know I'm going to have to probably outline it with whatever background I'm going to use uh, because I, that tape pulled up. I gotta figure out another way to keep that tape down. Um, but we won't see what it looks like until it dries, because <laughs> I can't tell where the lines are. That white must really have a lot of water in it, because that white seems to be the only one that gives me those cells. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry while I try to figure out another way to keeping this tape down. I usually have no problem with um, this tape on my canvases. Not quite sure what's going on, maybe because it's a bare canvas. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna do is once this dries and pulls this off, maybe the second one I won't, I won't use, I'll use a different color. I'll actually paint the background. I don't know yet. Let's just see if this holds my butterfly shape. It looks like it's gonna hold, but we won't know until it's finished. I'll be back. Okay, my butterfly's dry and I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> I'm sad. 
uh, let's see if you can see this, okay? Actually, it looks like the shape of a butterfly, but it looks like an abstract butterfly. And it's not as defined as I want it to be. Uh, I love the colors. I love the the blending. I, I like what the uh, what the blow dryer did, but I wanted sharp lines for a butterfly. And this only didn't work was because uh, the tape. I have never had any problem with that tape, no matter what I did with it, whether it's resin, acrylic, never had a problem. But I guess because I made the stencil and it wasn't laid down flat, it came up. So I've got all the way around the edges, I guess about a... I don't know, maybe about a third of an inch, maybe a half of an inch where it came under the tape. So, I mean, I could leave it the way it is and then just do my background, but that's not what I was looking for. So, I'm going to clean this up. I think I'm going to get the look that I was, that I wanted without having to clean it up and paint the background and I'll show you the finished product when I get back. Okay, before I finish this, this up and do the background and the body, um, I went ahead and I took some gesso and I outlined it and then tried to sand it down. It didn't sand down to the surface, so I don't know what's going to happen when I put the background on. I don't know if you can see that. Let me do it this way. Yeah, so see, it's not flat, and that may show up on the background, which is what I don't want it to do, but the sanding didn't help. I think where I made the mistake is I waited for it to dry fully. What I should have done was let it dry just a little bit, take the tape off and then just wipe the edges so they were flat. Even though they the color came out, at least the surface would be flat. And then I could guess so and, and paint over it. So I didn't do that. I let it get dry. So now I've got these uh, indentations in here and these bumps in here. And uh, I don't think... Even if I do two coats, I don't think my background is going to cover that. So, I just wanted to show you. I made a mistake. Uh, this is a living, living, let learn. <laughs> I'm just trying this to see uh, if this could be done. And yes, it can be done with the stencil. So, I'll be back after I do the background and clean it up a little bit more, and we'll go from there and uh, see if I could just get a butterfly. I may do, I'm definitely going to do this again because I want, I want to do it right. Um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And just to do a quick recap, the whole purpose of this uh, project, this craft project I did, was to make a template for an acrylic pour since I don't know how to draw and see if I can keep this defined shape on an acrylic pour. I'm, I didn't want to do it abstract. So I did a small one. I have a previous video where I did my template and the cardboard that I cut this out, I used that as the background and I taped it down on the canvas. So I did get the shape of the butterfly and then I did a napkin pour in the middle, but the napkin pour didn't work. So I got the butterfly, didn't get the napkin pour, but the colors were pretty, so I kept it. I didn't, I didn't trash it. I resined it and I hung it up. So I got a bigger frame and I made a bigger template of a butterfly to go on that frame. And instead, I'd, since I didn't have enough cardboard to cover the whole border, what I did was I taped it off, which you saw, I taped it off, cut out my stencil, and instead of doing a napkin pour or a regular pour, I went ahead and did a pour where you used a blow dryer. So now the inside of the butterfly came out gorgeous. I love the colors. But the blow dryer blew the tape up, so I had all of this excess runoff around the edges. So once I took the tape off, it looked like an abstract butterfly as opposed to the defined shape that I was shooting for. So that was a failure. The pour was a su success, so I wanted to keep it. 
So anyway, the tape is off, and I took it off while it was well, it fully dried, which I shouldn't have done. I should have taken it off while it was wet, and then I could have just wiped down the edges since I already had the template and did the background. So now I had, gosh, maybe about a half an inch, some, some places an inch of overflow that dried, and it was sort of bumpy. So I used some gesso, I sanded it down, and then I painted the background. I gave it two coats of paint, and you could still see it. So now I'm trying to come up with a way that I could still keep this, this picture, since I like the butterfly, but outline it. So there is another craft, another pour. Let me get it. There's another acrylic pour that I have not mastered. I've tried it a couple of times, and that's with the pull chain. Uh, I'm not successful at this either, so I will probably be re revisiting that in the future. But anyway, I have the supplies for the pull chain, so I thought, what if I outlined my butterfly, maybe take away some of that imperfection around the outlines, and... Uh, this would give me my defined look. So anyway, I am finished. That's what I did, and I want to show you the end product. So, here is my butterfly, where I went ahead and did the pull chain as the outline. I love the colors of this pour. I love that blow dryer, so I will be doing that again. And... I sat here, it took me another two days to cut these and glue around the edges, but I got it done. And if you look close, you don't see those bumps at all. I don't know, I know for a fact I did not cover them all up with the pull chain. So that has a lot to do with that resin. But there are no bumps going around it. Um, I'm satisfied with it, it came out pretty good. So the answer is yes, you can make your own stencil. You just have to find a way to cover that border so that it doesn't run off. The tape did not work. The cardboard worked, but when you're working on a canvas this size, I just couldn't find a cardboard that would cover the whole background. Anyway, there's my, uh, <laughs> my mixed media project, which that's not what this started out to be. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like the content, give me a like. And uh, I'll be back.